Hey YouTube, Tacoma Comics here with uh, Hall and what I can only think is uh, cut myself shaving this morning or I don't know, dull acne that then healed over then I cut but it's just it's catching my eyes and making this video and it's bothering the heck out of me. Ignore it guys, look at the comics, that's what we're here for, the comics, it's all about the comics. Hope you guys are doing good. Uh, out here in Tacoma, man, we're having that week where it's like, holy cow, it's 80 degrees. or getting up to 80. It's going to be in the 70s every day and sunny, and then it's going to drop 20 degrees in the weekend. Uh, but that's okay. We, we don't go like this with the weather. We go like this. Spring, summer, and then finally around July, it gets beautiful. Um, but April, May, June can bring anything in Tacoma. So let's see what Tacoma Comics has for you. I think I showed you this one, but I like that cover. It's on a pile that hasn't been put away yet, so I thought maybe I haven't shown this comic off yet. Amazing Fantasy number one. Kind of digging that. All right. I'm a little excited about this haul because over the last two trips to Half Price Bookstore, I've been picking up some uh, modern keys at ridiculously cheap prices. Um, Half Price Books, they put like a... You know, they get like X-Men 50, let's say, 52. Like a nothing early X-Men issue. That's like a 1.0. And they'll charge like $70 for this raggedy old thing. But then they'll take something like the first full appearance of Riri Williams in the Iron Man, um, I guess the Iron Heart outfit or armor, and they'll sell it to you for $1.50. So I'll take that over a totally ripped up cover. I'll take the first story with... Kamala Khan is Miss Marvel and the second appearance of Miss Marvel on the cover for $1.50. I will absolutely take the first appearance of Miss Marvel of Kamala Khan. She wasn't Miss Marvel. Cameo appearance of Kamala Khan um, for a dollar or two. It's just ridiculous, bad work on the part of Half Price Books. And I love them for it. Thank you very much, guys. You're awesome. So one of my all-time favorite series, uh, modern stuff, is... Uh, let me just get this flipped around. This series called Satellite Sam. Uh, written by Matt Fraction and drawn by Howard Shakin. Uh, and I have a full set, but holy cow, I saw everything in the clearance bin for 50 cents each. This is the second printing of number one, but I've got a few copies of number one. This uh, has these kind of salacious, sexy covers, but... It's not all, <laughs> it's not a whole comic dedicated to that. Uh, the lead character, his dad has died and, and finds all these Polaroid shots, style shots of uh, women looking like this. And that's part of like the detective um, kind of whodunit, what the hell happened, caper going on. It's also a story about um, satellite images and the fight for the early control, the early uh, broadcasts and early networks. Um, Satellite Sam itself is a TV show uh, that they're putting on, and that's kind of the theme that brings it all together, is the characters that produce or direct or write or act in that TV show. And um, one of them, the main character, is the one who's searching for how his dad died, and it's all mixed up with these pictures and stuff. So, uh, you know... I like the art in this. It's, I think it's great. The story is, is beautifully written. Uh, Matt Fraction really did his research to sound like a bunch of 1950s New Yorkers uh, talking about TV. Um, I guess Hollywood was a movie thing only then. TV had yet to be established as like having a locale. Um, and it just did a really fabulous job. Uh, Shaken's art it can get uh, repetitive if you read like Midnight of the Soul or Divided States of Hysteria. Not that it's bad, um, it's just he, he kind of draws the same way often. Uh, but this was the first thing I've read of his, um, so it didn't seem that, sorry, there's seven. It didn't seem that uh, n um, old to me, repetitive to me, so I, I kind of liked it. Uh, but like I said, the, the story, the written story in this is really phenomenal. Um, absolute recommend. Uh, I'll probably sell these. You know, I've got a full set. I'd love to trade this for something. Um, I should put up stuff that I want to trade and, and list of things I want. Maybe we can make trades with people because I'm all about uh, getting comics traded with collectors rather than selling on eBay to make money or buying on eBay to make somebody else money. 
to me, eBay is, is last resort. I mean, like I just purchased um, Miss Marvel Volume 3, number one, fourth printing, because it's hard to find. And not like it's it's a super rare comic, just not a lot of people are selling it. It's, it's not, not about a lot, and it's one that I needed. So um, I grabbed that. Grab that up today. All right, so there's uh, Satellite Sam and some of the early stuff I got last week. can't remember if I showed this, but uh, I guess I stopped collecting this one after the first four. The first couple issues are really, really great, and then kind of the hype died, the, my interest in the story died, but five and six finished it off there. Pretty cool. After Wolverine, and possibly after Kitty Pride. Um, Kitty Pride was more of a crush when I was 13. Um, Wolverine is a character I've always loved. Storm. Uh, I already showed you this one, and I've already I've gotten one through four, but they had the whole series, one through 11, um, packed up for 15 bucks, so I grabbed that. So some of these are repeats. I, I kind of joked that, uh, you know, you've got Storm, Goddess of Thunder, then you've got Callisto there on issue two, and then Forge on issue three, and then Wolverine down here in issue four. So it's not like they're taking their time getting to the main characters and... and the history of Storm in the comic books. They're all there in the first four issues, which is cool. Um, there's, sorry, there's five really cool covers here. Um, there's six, and I don't know, um, Barrio Nuevo, Ibanez, uh, it looks, seems like there's a bunch of different artists. I don't know if they're all the cover artists or just the interior art, but hey, I'm loving this one. That's really cool for number eight. And then even number seven, that's the way she's turned around there. How does she get her hair to stand up yet not look stiff? It's pretty impressive. Must be the artwork. This guy is such a tool. I just wish that his movie would drop. I'm messing with you. I just don't own 266, and I want to get that cheap. <laughs> it's uh, it's going to stay stay an expensive comic for a while, so I'll have to have to hope I can get it someday. And then I actually love this one, too number the artwork in number 11 so haven't read the full series yet just read the first two and i'm really excited for it bam uh spent a little bit on this talk the guy down from 50 to 40 obviously i gotta get this in a better bag and board it's a little dirty it's it's um it's intact it's it's clean it's it's flat um you know no no creases in the spine um but uh it could do with the press and a cleaning which i may get it was signed by claremont which is why the price went up um 40 even with the signatures kind of the high end but i needed it and it was there and i saw it and i didn't want to let it go because I'd, I'd rather buy it from lcs than go to ebay and, and hope that somebody knows how to ship it with like padding and stuff all right um stop by half price book again today and pick this beautiful guy up that's in mylar already i did not have this um variant to rebirth and definitely did not have the black and white variant. So pretty excited to get those uh, for a pretty decent price. I think they were $3 for the two of them. Um, then went on a little Dark Knight's Metal uh, excursion. Justice League 32, a Dark Knight's Metal tie-in. Justice League 33, a Dark Knight Metal's tie-in. Dark Days The Forge. Dark Knight's Metal, a tie-in to itself, because it is the Dark Knight's Metal. And Hawkman found Metal tie-in. I, I have some of these, not all of them, but I figured they were pretty cheap. I'd grab them. Some of the ones I've got are signed. Some of the others, like I said, I might sell or trade. Uh, not a big fan of the Marvel Collector Core, but I've got, like, oh gosh, I don't know, 12 variants to Champions number 1, so this makes 13. This next one, I'm going to cut the video right here so the one on the right is the one that i sold to half price bookshop about two three months ago it was ripped i, I love the series i've got perfect copies of all of them so i did not want to have one that was ripped that was a, a tape malfunction on on the comic book bag so i uh i sold it and probably got like 50 cents for it so i there for a dollar 75 is like Arr. And then two months later, I see this one on the left for $1.75. Mine was still there, but this one on the left, this new copy, much better. Obviously, no rip on it uh, was there for the same price. So I'm like, hey, I'll take the good one, and I won't have to go on eBay and spend 10 15 bucks on it. So pretty psyched about that. 
And we're back. This is the comic. I have now replaced my ripped one for a much better copy. Sex Criminals number two, $1.75. Pretty excited about that. And they had sagas. They have got like Saga 5, maybe it's $5, but then uh, 7 through 32, they're like $3 and then getting down to like $1.50 for like the later issues. I mean, they had like literally 30 uh, issues of Saga there. So I just grabbed my favorite covers. Um, this one, Oswald Heiss is his name, I believe, and uh, Baby Hazel there. Gosh, Hazel's like four years old now and we still talk about Baby Hazel. Look at this goose. Is it goose? Is it Gus? G-H-U-S, is there an umlaut? I don't know, but I wish, this Mayo should, I don't want to take this out, but just the reflection that she got in the water there. I mean, Fiona Staples is on point here. That's just beautiful. And then probably one of my top two or three saga covers. Um, they had this a while ago, but there is some, some spine ticks, and I can feel, that's the staple, right? I can feel... A little crease there it's not a spine well it's tiny I don't know if you can see it right above my hand there's a little bit of a white tick there um, so again not getting not getting a bargain on this and I'm not planning on selling it or flipping it I just love this cover I'll take two copies of this cover any day so that's pretty cool and what we got winding down here I wasn't going to get the director's cut. I really want to get the hardcover, but if you have not read Vision yet, absolutely go out and read it. I don't know if there's extras in this or if this is straight up just the first three issues or first four issues. But it's a nice way to read it anyway. And at 350, I thought it was a decent deal. Not not a bargain for used, but a it's good condition. Tiny corner damage. This was in clearance for 50 cents. I love this cover. I absolutely love this cover. More, more. I won't go so far as to say melancholy. There's still a lot of anger there, but there's a, a wistfulness, at least a sad um, pallor to him that's not like consistent with just rage. You know, there's a little bit more going on there. Um, and I kind of really dug that. And then they did it again Captain Marvel 17. First full appearance of Kamala Khan as Miss Marvel. Captain Marvel 14, cameo appearance of Kamala Khan. I shouldn't say as Miss Marvel. First full appearance of Kamala Khan, cameo appearance of Kamala Khan. Uh, both books going for like 30, 40 bucks on eBay. Dollar fifty each. Uh, pretty excited about that. And what do you? Oh, Impulse buy. I've got two, one or two copies of this, and it's worth like the two dollars I paid for it. So that's about it, dude. Dudes, excuse me. Hopefully there's more than one of you watching. Um, I don't know if any of you are coaches of robotics teams or on robotics teams, my younger followers. Uh, I'm headed out to Detroit tomorrow night for the first robotics championship. Uh, you can do some work with Lego Education. I'm a Lego Education Master Educator. That is a mouthful. Don't try to say it. Um, so I'll be out there manning their booth. Uh, working with with others obviously i don't get the whole thing to myself uh at the innovation fair which is connected to the robotics championship so if anybody's in detroit stop by uh, i guess that's about it man and you know let's do the cliches please like and subscribe and uh um and i'll talk to you guys soon okay take care